Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 11th of July. The local media headlines today. How would you like to run Cornwall's health and social care system? The job advert for the independent chair of the Shaping Our Future Transformation Board, which is all about integration, is now available for all to see. It's also all about devolution and ever more handing over of services to charities and not-for-profit companies. There's the small matter of several political banana skins too. Cornwall Reports also looked at what's happening with County Hall's latest embrace of high technology. Pretty much the same thing that happened last time. Overdue, over budget, please help. And it's the usual snafu at the Royal Cornwall Hospital in Truro. The Health Secretary has promised to sort it out. What could possibly go wrong? Pirate FM looked at what's happening to help rough sleepers in Cornwall. The situation has improved over the past three years, but more than 50 people in Cornwall were thought to have been sleeping outdoors last night. The BBC reported fears for the future of the Port Elliot Festival. The Cornish Times was similarly gloomy, saying it could be the last for the foreseeable future. The Falmouth Packet reported good news for the St Justin Penwith Church. And finally, Cornwall Live tells us something we needed to know about Love Island. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.